What's up, everybody? Austin Practical, Practical Elevate Performance, coming at you live. It's Friday. Hope everybody had a good one. Hope everybody has a really good weekend, too. Um, today's topic, just going to be talking about how, you know, like the concept of, you know, they have it in, there's like songs, like lots of songs out there that talk about this is like, you know, li you know, living for the weekend kind of thing. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about why, you know, that might not necessarily be the uh, best way to go about it whenever you're pursuing like a fitness goal or a fitness journey, um, because this is kind of what most people do. And this is definitely what I used to do whenever I first started out. Um, and it was just, you know, working out five days a week, six days a week, I'd work, on, I'd work out on the weekends, I'd eat right, I'd do everything perfectly, I'd follow my diet plan. And then, you know, the weekend rolls around. And then, you know, it's like, oh, all, you know, all that goes out the window. And it's like, all right, time to, you know, time to party, time to eat whatever I want, time to have my, have a cheat day or a cheat weekend or whatever, go out and have some, you know, beers and things like that. And it's like, um, that stuff's fine. That, that's totally fine. And, you know, moderation and, you know, as long as you're you know, taking ownership of what you're doing, but, you know, looking back on all that and with what I do now, it's like, why would you, you know, work your butt off for five days out of the week just to throw it all away and reset yourself almost entirely um, because, you know, you're not sticking with it during the weekend and you're binge eating or you're, um, you know, just not following your nutrition plan like you, you know, you were the other five days. Um, it's something that, you know, it's just kind of like ingrained into society kind of just because it's like, oh, our weekly, you know, work schedules and things like that are so, you know, mundane and also a lot of times just like, it's just the way it's structured. It's like, you know, what do you do whenever you have free time? You go out and party um, or you go out and have, go hang out at social events and things like that. And so the weekends are a lot more tempting oftentimes. And also, you know, we're kind of conditioned or we've conditioned ourselves into, you know, following uh, that kind of like, you know, business on the week, party on the weekend. Well, your body doesn't freaking care if it's the weekend or not. It's going to put on weight just as much as it was during the week. And if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing in terms of following your plan or being consistent with it, you know, you're throwing away a lot of progress and you're setting yourself back a lot more often than you, you know, than you probably like. And then whenever the week comes around and it's time to check your progress and you haven't made any, you just frustrate yourself because you will one, you know that you probably fucked up during the weekend. Uh, and that's why it is the way it is. So not only are you doing things that are like, you know, taking you in the wrong direction of your goals, you're also, you know, setting yourself up to like be frustrated with yourself. And so that's why I really think that it's like, you know, it's, a, it's important to have, you know, uh, like a refeed or like a cheat meal, a cheat meal, like, you know, once every week or two, like, that's fine. As long as it's, you know, maybe like anywhere from like, two to 500 grams uh, or calories of like carbs or something like that. That's fine. A little bit of extra calories isn't going to, you know, destroy you. But then you take it like way further and take like a whole freaking, you know, day or a weekend or whatever. It's like, you can eat a lot of food during that time. Um, and if you're not tracking at all, you're definitely going to eat a lot more than you think you are. And if you're drinking uh, or doing whatever extracurricular um, substances, like you're probably going to also, you know, not keep track of things or care or like you're just gonna you know lose track of what you're eating anyway it's like you know anytime you go out and have you know a couple of beers or something it's like all right time to eat some you know junk food or unhealthy food kind of thing so you know that's my suggestion is like you know start trying to work like think of it as like you know live for the week the whole week not just the weekend um because if you do that you know you're going to be way more consistent. You're going to see results a lot faster because you're not going to be constantly setting yourself back every time you take those, you know, why, why would you spend five days following everything to a T and working your butt off just to like screw yourself over on the weekend is what I'm saying. So, you know, start thinking of it a lot more, like more long-term start, like, you know, focusing on, you know, taking ownership of, you know, what you're doing on the weekends and paying attention to these things um, and being mindful of them. And, you know, if you screw up and you mess up on the weekend, when it comes to your nutrition plan, it's not the end of the world. But, you know, you just got to take ownership of it, ownership of it and try to make sure that it's not like a really consistent thing. And if it is a consistent thing for you right now, actively start to plan ahead or, um, you know, just 
be aware of it. And when you're putting the, putting yourself in those situations, you know, maybe have like a hard seltzer instead of like, like for a hundred calories, instead of like a 300 calorie craft beer or something like that. It's like, you know, making smarter choices like that. So you can still go out and have fun. Um, but you don't have to like completely ruin, you know, all the progress that you've made so far. Cause that's what happens with a lot of people is like, they'll hit, if they're tracking calories or they're doing whatever, or they're following like a diet, a fad diet or whatever, they follow it strictly throughout the week. And then the weekend rolls around and good food gets put in their face. If you're like doing keto or something like that. And like somebody, you know, there's carbs everywhere. Um, you're gonna, you know, you, you're more, I know a lot of people that do that do dirty keto or whatever you want to call it because they, you know, want to have fun on the weekends. And it's like, you know, you're kind of defeating the purpose of it if you're, do, if you're doing it like that. Um, and then also, you know, in terms of um, other diets and things like that, or just tracking your calories, like they'll have, you'll be, you'll be hitting your calorie mark on average throughout the week. And then you'll just spike yourself like crazy uh, and, and go way over on the weekends. And that's just like, that's just a common pattern that you see with a lot of people. So start to live for the entire week not just the weekend and you will see way faster progress you'll be more consistent you'll be probably a lot happier with yourself because you're not you know you know better and you're still doing it anyways and so that makes you you know feel bad about yourself for doing something um but also just being more in control and doing like flexible dieting and counting your calories and tracking your macros like doing those sorts of things makes it to where you can still go out and enjoy yourself and still go out and enjoy those social events um, you know, in some capacity at least. So, um, you know, that's why I always preach about being as sustainable as possible. Um, other than that, that's my life for today. Live for the entire week, not just the weekend, and you'll see way better results. Um, if you like this video, please give me a like, uh, you know, do hashtag replay if you watch this. Let me know what your number one takeaway was in the comments down below. Um, that's my life for today. Hope you guys have a beautiful weekend, um, and I'll talk to you on Monday. See you.